Simon here and this is a quick unboxing of the Sony FDR AX53. This is a 4K Handycam camcorder that shoots uh, 100 frames a second in HD and 16.6 .6 megapixel stills has a 30 times in 4K clear image zoom and 40 times clear image zoom in HD. Wide angle lens at 26 millimeters, 26.8 millimeters, um, and of course you can do that nice slow mo that I mentioned. Uh, Exmor R CMOS sensor with Wi-Fi and NFC. So uh, let's get into the box. Usual bump on the top. We have an instruction manual, warranty key information, registering, and the usual buy Sony accessories. There's the camera, but first we have the power adapter and charger. This will actually power by the mains and charge the battery on the camera. Three pin plug for the United Kingdom. The mini HDMI to full size HDMI. And Sony proprietary uh, USB cable replacement because it no longer has one in the strap. Down here is the battery. This is the mid-sized battery and it's the NPFV70 like so. And that is 1960 milliamp hours. Now to the camera. It feels very nice. It feels a little plasticky, um, but it's got some nice weight to it, not too heavy. Uh, no projector in the screen this time. Manual button. The general purpose do everything ring, which is lovely and smooth. Three inch capacitive screen, like an iPad, rather than a cheap tablet or camcorders you may have known from old. The screen is very nice actually, I've seen it in action. Here we have your card slot, or my voice cancellation, which means if you're using the inbuilt microphone and you're standing behind the camera, it should try and cancel the camera operator's voice. In reality, it doesn't really work. We have a play button, night shot button, because there's an infrared light and receiver in the front of the camera. So you could buy the Sony infrared remotes, same one that would uh, work with uh, any other Sony camcorder like the AX100. HDMI port and power button. Battery slot, record start stop, charger in. The USB multi cable goes in there and your uh, power supply to your and your microphone input. Um, Sony camcorders provide power, not all camcorders do. So you can use things like the Rode Video Micro, which I'm currently using to record this voiceover. On the top, we no longer have a proprietary shoe. This is a more general purpose uh, cold shoe. So Rode microphones will go straight on the top, no problem at all. NFC round here. 
The front element is a 55mm screw thread and I have a Hoya Pro 1 circular polarizer and the ND filter which is an ND8 which I think reduces the light by three stops. More on those a bit later. I also got myself the NPFV uh, 100A which is a genuine Sony battery and as you can probably see if I get this right that there is a significant size difference in the two batteries with the supplied battery on it feels nicely balanced and just the right amount of weight to it it's quite chunky um, but it feels really nice in the hand 5.1 surround microphone but obviously if you're talking to camera you really want uh, a mono microphone that um, will be more directional uh, I've also got myself the Delkin Devices Fat Gecko this is a dual suction cup mount for going in the car and I've also bought a cheap uh, copy of the Manfrotto 200PL quick release plate which had to have some work done on it because on the unboxing of the Delkin um, Fat Gecko I broke it you'll see that in the next video so that took all of 30 seconds to break other than that uh, once you do a bit of home engineering it's actually very good so that's that out of the way so that is the unboxing and uh, I'll shoot some more uh, shots of the camera and uh, put some examples in the screen is a 3 inch screen which rotates all the way round So you can shoot yourself from almost any angle and folds flat against the camera body. The EVF pulls out and lifts so you don't have to use the screen in bright conditions. This also turns the camera on. With the manual button, if I reach around the front, if you press and hold, you can then use the jog wheel on the, the uh, jog wheel or uh, zoom and focus ring to go through your different settings that you might wish to use manually. I generally keep the, mine in uh, exposure, but if you want to pull focus or zoom then you can easily slip it into those as well what you then do is need to dab the uh, manual button again and I've gone into the wrong thing easy to do when you're reaching awkwardly around another camera so I can now push that exposure right up. So the lens is branded with Carl's ice, which probably means they just made the glass elements and Sony mounted it in their own um, lens assembly. But the star of the show is Balanced Optical Steady Shot, which is like having the lens on a gimbal. There are different settings you can have this on. Um, standard is what most people use. If you put it in active you will get the clear image zoom come on. And active, inter intelligent active rather, uh, in HD gives you both balanced optical steady shot and software image stabilization for improved um, 
handling vibration reduction. <laughs> 